Hey folks, Jonathan here. One of them days, raining, nasty. Uh, kind of get aggravated sometimes when the temperatures change so bad. It's uh, it's really warm out and it's raining, so now all my cold machines in my shop, as you can see, are just soaking wet. Everything's just soaking wet. It's not a leak issue, it's a sweating issue or humidity. So uh, anyway, Sometimes, you know, when you're in these big projects, you, you want to throw something in there you, you can finish kind of quick. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, in, in that kind of mood to where I just want to throw something together that uh, maybe something a little different and, and maybe something I can finish in, you know, a couple hours. That way uh, you uh, feel like you've accomplished something. And the motorcycle is over there all wet from the humidity. So, kind of aggravated with that. I don't want to mess with it. And uh, Noah's not here. We're we was going to work on the drag car a little bit today, but he's not here yet. It's early morning, and uh, I'm going to need his help lifting that body off. Before we can get, we're going to see if we can't do something with some of the suspension stuff on it. But anyway, so this is the rotor that a lot of you may have seen. I, I used the centerpiece out of it to make a uh, spacer for. Uh, the sprocket on the back of the motorcycle. So we've got this left over. So I figured we'd do something with it, something a little different, and uh, we'll. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing as I go. Okay, these two are bolted together. I'm still grinding on them, trying to get it right. They're hot right now, so I'm going to let them cool a little bit. I've just got the other piece laying there. Uh, well, for no particular reason, but to, just to be able to see the distance from the center of the of my handle. And uh, that's an old axe handle that was broke off. I'm going to shorten it up. I'm going to try to just use a straight section of it and clean it up. But uh, we're going to make the pieces that go in the center now. Okay, we got our plates cut out, just rough. And now we're going to actually grind them and then we're going to try probably to heat them up 
and smack them around something about that same shape as that to give us a uh, curve and we want these to come within about an eighth inch because that's about an eighth inch thick so we want it to come within an eighth inch of touching each other when they're together so we'll have fun doing that but shouldn't be too bad we've got a torch we can always heat it up but we're going to grind these to be exact first then we'll find the exact center we'll mark it and that's where we'll start heating it see if we can get something figured out on okay so it stopped raining for a few minutes anyway and we've got two bolts in here and that's about the same profile as what my handle is so we should be able to work with that oh let me knock you around so we're going to put one plate on each side like this we're going to take two c-clamps put on there and we're actually going to heat it and try to bend them in together and then we'll keep working with it and we'll put our two quarter inch pieces in between or eighth inch i'm sorry eighth inch pieces between so we can try to get it exactly right so anyway let me get it set up here i'm gonna take about eight arms to do it okay we've got some hammering done on it anyway so we'll have to uh we'll have to get these straightened out and ground and cleaned up but uh which way they go I think it's like that anyway so I think it's gonna work out fine this handle's got a curve up here at the top so we're gonna cut it off a little short and of course it's got a axe style handle so we'll cut it off down here but uh, we're just gonna use the straight section of it and we'll clean it up but uh, I'll keep working on these and get these finished up and done and then we'll file and grind it whatever to, to make the contour fit right I left them a little bit big so we could do all that but uh, my main thing's trying to make them look decent, get all my dents and dings out where I've hammered on them. So uh, I actually heated them and crimped them with the uh, C clamps and then I ended up taking them off and just hammering them. So they'll be alright. One way or the other. Alright. Okay, folks, I got the centers cleaned up, got them drilled, got the plates bolted on. I've just got the handle shoved up through. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it back apart and then start doing some of the finish work on it. And we'll get the blades sharpened and polished and all that stuff, and we'll see if we can get it finished up. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm probably going to pin it through the uh, through the center of the handle too, to make sure the handle stays tight. Uh, we'll see. Figure it out as we go. All right. Okay, folks, it's done. Uh, we didn't wait real long for the, you know, paint to be as dry as it needed to be, or the handle to be as dry as it needed to be. Tried to heat the rivets and put them in, but they sweat out so much. I had my clearance so close that they didn't want to go through, so I had to change that a little bit. But uh, they hammered down good. They're they're fine. It's, you know, it's tight. It's not going anywhere, and uh, you know, it's not like we're going to use it anyway. It's just something to that I wanted to do. I, you know, I had that rotor, and I always wanted to do something with the rotor, and uh, I sharpened it. It's pretty sharp. Um, it's not razor sharp or anything. I could spend more time on it. I think these are stainless, so, you know, they'd hold the edge pretty good and stuff. But anyway, it's just something to play with, and uh, if you're bored and you ain't got nothing else to do, or if you got a couple hours to kill, and you got an old rotor laying around and some scrap steel. Now, and of course, you know, the, the handle was an old piece of scrap. Uh, we use new bolts, but I get a good deal on, at the hardware store uh, around the corner here in my driveway. And uh, so, we, you know, we didn't spend any money. And actually, I used some of Jordan's paint that he had for his bathtub. But we should have let it sit, you know, and this humidity the way it is. Of course, it wasn't going to dry fast anyway. So, uh, but it's done. Just like I said, something to do. And, uh, yeah, give you ideas of something to do anyway. All right. 
I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, we'll be back on. Uh, we're doing the 59 Ford uh, tomorrow. If it's not raining, we're gonna get to work on it. So, uh, all right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.